Today we're going to learn how to make macrame, sunflower, and a daisy. Now your kit's going to include all the cord required, along with a needle, the wires to make the stem for the flower, and the instructions. Now we've made some revisions, so please make sure you use the revised instructions. And I'm here today to show you how to make sure that's going to work for you. And additional supplies, you're going to have to have a tape measure. I like to use a board to work on, some T-pins, and a pair of scissors. We're going to start with the petal. Each petal requires five gold cords then you need to make seven petals. We're going to take one, fold it in half, make sure you're on a flat surface. I like to use a board so I can pin it down. Take another cord, fold it in half, place it under the cord that you just laid out, pin it in place. This becomes your filler cord and you're going to have working cords on each side. On the left side, tie your knot. And do that again. Bring your working cord over your filler cord, under. You do that two times. That makes your double half hitch. Then I'll remove the pin and work on the other side and do a reverse double half hitch. Again, bring your working cord over the top of your filler cord, through, tie your knot. Do that again. Over the top, under, tie your knot. And try to keep your knots as consistent as possible. You want to keep them tight so you don't have a gap in the center. Pin this down so it won't be moving a lot. Now we're going to take another cord and add it. You're going to end up with four working cords and two filler cords. Pull that out like that. All right, and we're going to do this again. We're going to make a double half hitch on the left side. And then do the reverse double half hitch on the right side. And repeat this. Add another cord, double half hitch, reverse double half hitch. We have one more cord to add. And this is all written in the instructions on how to work the cords. There's great graphics to show you how to make these knots. All right, so now we have four working cords on each side, and we have our filler cords. There's two of them going down the center. We're going to make our first row, take the top cord on the left side, this now becomes your filler cord and your working cord is the next cord down. Make another double half hitch. And you're going to do this all the way down with your cords. And as I said, you have four working cords on each side. Now your top one became your filler cord. You're now going to take what was your filler cord and use that as your last double half hitch. So you still have four working cords on each side. And then we're going to do the other side. And this becomes the reverse double half hitch. This is very forgiving and easy to take out a knot in the event that you're not happy with the way it looks or you feel like you made the knot wrong. Now when you get to the last one, you now have two new filler cords. We're going to take this, make a knot, an overhand knot, and pull that center together. That way it keeps from gapping. Now we're going to make another row, just as we did before. Take the top cord, bring it down. That becomes your filler cord. And you make double half hitch all the way down. And we're going to do this for three rows. So there's your center. This is row one. We're working row two now. We have one more row to do before we put the edge on and we're going to take those two cords, pull that center together. All right, now we have one more row to go. Also make sure that you keep your cords in the right order. It's easy sometimes for one of them to kind of jump ahead of another. And take these two, tie them. And our final one. Now we're going to create the outer edge. So we're going to take the top cord, once again, bring it down, make a double half hitch. Hold these two cords together, take your next cord, working over both of them, make a double half hitch. Hold those three cords together, make a double half hitch. 
Hold the four cords together, and you're going to take your final cord for the left side, double half hitch. Now we're going to repeat it on the right side, same thing, reverse double half hitch. Okay, those were our four cords, and our final cord, you've completed a petal. Do this seven times, and you make seven petals, and set those aside. This is what your leaf's going to look like. It's made the same way that you made the petals for the sunflower head, only you're going to use green cords. Now we're going to make the brown flower center. You're going to use your brown cords, and there are four different lengths. You're going to take the longest, make a loop, and we're going to take the next longest cord and just follow your instructions. We're going to make a reverse lark's head. So you're going to fold your cord in half, put it underneath, bring it up through the center of your loop, tighten that down. We're going to add another one, tighten it down, add a third one, and add a fourth cord. Then you're going to pick this up and you don't need a, a large tail hanging. We're going to pull the longer end and tighten these and bring it into a circle where you have your working cords out. So always make sure you keep track of the cords that you're working with. The instructions will tell you how many you have for each round. Your four cords become two cords each, so you're going to have eight working cords and one filler cord. We're going to bring the filler cord across the top of your working cords and tie a double half hitch, which is what you've learned to do when you were making the petal. This is the basic knot that you're going to be using throughout. We're going to do this with the next cord. Let me pin this down so it's not moving around so much. Now when you're working in the round, you'll start seeing gaps this is where you add another cord. So we're going to take another one of the same length cord and we're going to attach it to the filler cord using a reverse lark's head. And then we're going to work two more cords and do this again. So you, you do this around. This is how the entire center is made. To add your cords, you're going to make a reverse lark's head knot, and to make your knots, do double half hitch. You repeat this around, following the instructions on how many times you're to do this till you get around. We'll do two more. Now we've completed the second round. Continue in this manner, working as the instructions say, adding cords as necessary, and when you're finished, this is what your piece is going to look like. It's going to be cup, but what you're going to do is flip it over, and this becomes like the seed center of your sunflower. You can either clip this tail piece off or take your needle and pull that through. So there you have your flower center. Then we're going to move on to attaching the petals to the flower center. Now we're going to split the cords up and work this over several stitches. So you're going to thread the needle, and this is going to take a little bit of patience. Right here where your bumps are, we're going to go through, pull this through to the back. And then we're going to take a couple of more cords and do the same thing. And I try to keep my cords together as best I can. And that's why I say this takes a little bit of patience. You may want to thread each one separately. You want to make sure you get them all in. One more cord. There's seven petals, so as you're working around, make sure you evenly space these. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cords that you're working with. And what you're going to do then, we're going to tie knot and really pull tight to make sure that's secure. All right, and you're gonna do that around with all of your petals. And this is what we're gonna have when you're finished. You're gonna have your seven petals going around. Now we're going to add the green base. Now I have already woven the cords through. 
what you're going to do based on your instructions take the length of cord that it asks for now you're starting out with your longer green cord and you're going to weave that through as it says in the instructions one of the bumps just like this your needle goes through here pull your cords through repeat this around your longest cord becomes your filler and it's a double filler cord you're working over both of them when you get all of your cords on there you're going to flip this upside down you're going to do the same thing that you've done before in making the brown center this is your working cord this goes over the filler cord pull these down while you're working them this is your double filler cord and you're going to make double half hitch all the way around it will tell you on your instructions how many rounds to make and as you're working around you're going to see that some of the cords are shorter and you're going to have to start decreasing so when you decrease as you come across your shorter cords you just fold it into the center and that's what becomes the padding for the inside of the flower so everything will go into the center as you're working around you end up with 12 cords and this is what the piece will look like when you're finished from there you're going to take the wires in the kit this becomes your stem you'll have plenty in here use as many as you feel necessary I find that six to eight work on the sunflower take the group put a little hook on the end of them and I've already added a couple you insert them through one of the bumps on the next to the last round like that and hold that down take another one insert you just want to make sure you have them in a good sturdy base for your stem hold it down and holding all of your green ends work that around once you have that done take the long piece I've rolled it into a ball to make it a little easier to work with hold a little piece down and just start wrapping as you wrap keep it tight once you work down about three inches going to pick up the leaf hold it with all the cords and continue wrapping wrap all the way down to the end of your wires and you can either take a needle and weave the end back up through or a little bit of hot glue to secure the end and there you have your sunflower the daisies made in the same manner using the same knots enjoy your project <music>